Okay, testing a hot surface igniter. <clears throat> so, got our meter here. Just gonna turn this to ohms, which is right there. Set that down, let me see if I can adjust this so you can read the meter. Okay, so a silicone carbide, I'm sorry, nitride, silicone nitride. Those are the tough igniters. They sometimes come in a stick form like that we talked about. <clears throat> now to test these, all we're gonna do is set our meter to ohms like we have and check each side like that. You can see we're reading 15.7. Yeah, let it stabilize here. I didn't. I think I lost connection there for a second. Okay, fifteen point eight is where we're where we're kind of stabilized there, close to it. <clears throat> now these should read somewhere between eleven to eighteen ohms new. If they're way above that, like really high above that, then they're probably getting ready to go out, so we need to replace it. <clears throat> Silicone carbide igniters. Remember, these are the ones that are sparkly. You see the sparkles there, and you do not want to touch touch the actual igniter part of it. And you want to be real gentle with these when you're replacing them. This one, just gonna test it. <clears throat> we leave our meter on ohms. As you can see there, we're 80.1 ohms. And these should read anything usually, <clears throat> typically new, they'll read sometime, somewhere between 45 and 75 ohms. This one is brand new and it's already reading 80. That's still fine. The main thing is anything over 100, um, you wanna recommend replacement because something's probably going wrong there's more resistance than there should be, and it's probably going to burn out and crack. Normally, these will get a little hairline fracture in them. Sometimes they'll break completely apart when they short out. Um, when they go to ignite, you want to pay attention to them because they'll. If it's one spot's glowing super red hot and actually kind of, it'll even spark if you catch it actually breaking. If it sparks a little bit, even though it may light the gas, it's time to replace it. So, silicone carbide. Anything over 100 ohms, need to need to talk to the homeowner about replacing it. Silicone nitride, you know, brand new, 40, they're 11 to 18, so <clears throat> I would say anything that's, you know, significantly higher than that, I would at least talk to them about replacing it. Now, it's best to check these when they're cool. You don't want them to heat, when they heat up, that's going to change the ohms, change the resistance. So it's better that you give them time to cool off before you test them or test them before you fire off the furnace. That'd be the easiest way. So remember carbide, anything over 100, recommend replacement. And just look for anything way over uh, 11 to 18 on the uh, nitride igniters. So that's it.